Okay, I'm going to begin. Uh, I haven't done this yet, so I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. Uh, that's how much I care about you guys. I'm willing to sacrifice my system in, in order to uh, advance knowledge in Linux. But hopefully this has been vetted and any corrections that need to be made have already been made by the people that maintain this official Ubuntu.com community page. So first thing I want to do is open up a terminal and I put my terminal in my favorites because I use it quite a bit and I'm going to essentially go to the page and copy and paste these commands and what these commands appear to be doing is creating links to uh, configuration files uh, that are in the non-editable directory into one that we're able to edit using the gconf so I want to copy this and paste it into the terminal Enter my password, don't look. Alright, I didn't get an error message, so let's assume that went well. Next line. And paste. This is basically changing the configuration or creating a link to the Maximus and the Netbook Launcher uh, applications, desktop configuration files. Uh, next, we're going to tell it to start the Maximus and uh, the Launcher by default. Because essentially, according to the doc, we're essentially just creating a normal, known desktop that has the launcher added on to it. So there, still no error messages. Let's see, this has got two lines here. I'm forcing myself to use a touchpad. I, I normally plug my mouse in, but I'm trying to get used to doing it. Okay, that went well. And one last line. This tells uh, the system to save these changes as defaults. Okay. Now, according to directions, the next thing I have to do is to log out and choose GNOME as a session. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and close out record my desktop so I don't think that's going to be preserved. So. Okay, here we are back, and we can see some changes right away. Uh, first of all, we have this here, which is window selector, and that's something that I sometimes add to my panel and my normal desktop when I want to kind of cut down on the real estate, cut down on the number of things available on the panel. And here is the click here to restore hidden windows. Let's see what that does here. Um, my calculator. Let's see here. Okay, if I click that, I go back to my panel, my launcher. And here, yep. This. Let's load something else just in case to my favorites. 
web browser okay okay if I click this I go back to the launcher and I can launch my programs uh, here is the window selector I can go from the calculator from one to the okay. what I lose apparently is the ability to uh, close the windows from the panel close the applications from the panel that doesn't you know the X that appeared up here in the, in the panel that's no longer there so now let's look at adding and removing okay I can add to panels now I can also remove and let's see here yeah I can remove that if I want to but I don't want to it may be useful later on another video but let's add something to the panel uh, I like the force quit because sometimes things are running slow don't know why just want to go ahead and it's equivalent to X kill from the command line so I'm going to add that on to it uh, let's see what else uh, sometimes I like the weather report close let's see if I can add a uh, Firefox well Firefox is already up there let's see can I add a another application let's see I use my Bible program a lot let's see if I can add that to the panel nope I can only add that to favorites So it is, it is not completely as flexible as a GNOME desktop, but that's fine. I can add it to my favorites as, as usual. Okay, and there you have it, um, building to add applications or applets to the panel, uh, It you retain your launcher but you as have some added features and there you have it thank you very much